The theme of this year's prestigious Met Gala was man versus machine, and the stars went all out with their futuristic looks on the most washed red carpet on the East Coast. Joining us now to break it all down and to talk about the hits and misses of the night is Fashion Magazine senior editor Sarah Castleman. It is great to have you here on Hi. this morning because it's mesmerizing to watch <laughs> all of this, isn't it? It's an amazing evening. It's like the party of the year, so it's just an amazing night to watch all the gowns. Let's start with your hits, and number one, you've got Claire Danes, and we were saying when she first arrived, looking all Cinderella-y and gorgeous, yes. who knew the technology was coming? Absolutely. I mean, there was a teaser, and we didn't actually know the afternoon of Zach Posen had teased this amazing, illuminating ball gown. Who is the mystery girl wearing it? Claire Danes. So this beautiful powder blue Zach Posen gown, very classic silhouette, and then, you know, glow in the dark. It's so, so cool. It has a fiber optic a woven organza, so very tacky, super cool. Oh, I love that. Carolina Kirkova wearing Marquesa. She, gorgeous as well. Again, it's one of those kind of beautiful, very signature Marquesa romantic sensibilities to it. And then you have this these LED lights. There's 150 of them woven throughout the fabrication. And it was uh, with IBM, with a cognitive computer system, and is feeding off all of the Twitter reactions, joy, emotions, excitement, and then the dress starts illuminating. A lot so. of creativity, a lot of stuff going on a there. A lot. So. A lot. And of course, the Jenner Kardashian showed up in all <laughs> their glory. Why don't we start with Kylie? She was wearing Balmain. Yeah, she looked great too. This was her debut at the Met, and so she didn't disappoint. Um, love that Balmain gown. Um, you know, it sort of had a bit of a Kim feel from last year. A lot year, of I a felt. Kim feel. Yeah, so maybe she's taking her cues from her sister. Who knows? But also the bob I thought was super cool, and that seemed very buzzy on Twitter. Her hair was getting a lot of the love. hair was everything. Before we get to Kim and Kanye, let's let's sneak Kendall in there, shall we? Kendall looked great. She had on a Versace dress. We, I thought she might wear Calvin Klein, but here she is wearing that kind of cobwebby look. Cut out. Tons of cutouts. She looked amazing. I feel like with a dress like this, you really have to rely on A, the bod, and B, a great body lotion that has illuminating particles in it. <laughs> There's so <laughs> many things that you have to be concerned about, right? I can only imagine. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> okay, Kim and Kanye. So, obviously, we're all waiting for Kimye and the red carpet, and they didn't disappoint either. They also wore Balmain, um, as they do. Lots of that kind of silver, that shimmering silver uh, inspiration here. Kanye went typical Kanye, as he said, vibes. <laughs> when he was interviewed on the red carpet, distressed denim, and yeah. you know Kim said she went for uh, a, a, a sexy, blingy robot look. So I think she checked off all those boxes as well. Just on a personal note, I wouldn't be so happy if I was all decked out in this dress and my guy is is wearing a <laughs> denim jacket. And whatever. I know. Well, Even you're if it had Kanye. Bling, you're Kanye. You can do what you want. <laughs> right. uh, let's get to Taylor Swift, who was co-hosting this with Anna yeah. Wintour and Idris Elba. Uh, you know what? Looking really great there. I thought. I thought so too. Like this is a big departure for her. We're used to seeing her a little more sweet, a little more kind of, you know, innocently sexy. This is like full-on provocative. I love those 90s inspired goth lips. Look great with that tousled platinum dew. She's wearing Louis Vuitton hair and those little kicky tiered ruffles. I think, you know, we saw a lot of shorter hemlines too last night with some of those great boots and, you know, gladiator heels. It just looked really fresh and modern. We're going to skip to Mrs. now because all of a sudden we're almost out of time. I could talk to you all day. <laughs> Let's go to Lady Gaga, who is number one on your list, wearing Versace, which is usually a great brand, but... But, I mean, she's definitely a fashion risk taker. We know this. Didn't think it totally worked. Um, you know, it, it worked in sense of the theme, I guess. Her, her switchboard, her circuit board jacket was super cool. It'd be good with pants, don't you think? Well, the pantslessness thing is always a tough call, isn't it? Okay, I need to sneak one more in, and that would be Demi Lovato. Demi Lovato was kind of a miss, too. She was wearing um, um, Moschino, yes. and I just kind of felt like that was a bit of a miss, too. A lot of uh, shimmering sequins which definitely fit the theme. Some of that, you know, yellow kind of woven in. The shape didn't look right on her. I think maybe next year she should, you know, try something different. You're a lot of fun, Sarah. <laughs> Good to have you here. Thanks so much. Sarah here from Fashion Magazine. Now, how to refinish furniture.